Welcome to Daily Scripture Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. 2 Chronicles chapter 8. This is the Amplified Version. Solomon's Activities and Accomplishments. Now it came about at the end of the twenty years in which Solomon had built the house of the Lord and his own house, palace, that he built and fortified the cities which Horam, Hiram, had given to him, and settled the Israelites there. Then Solomon went to Hamath Zobah and captured it. He built Tadmor in the wilderness and all his storage cities in Hamath. He also built Upper Beth Horon and Lower Beth Horon, fortified cities with walls, gates, and bars, to lock the gates, and Balath and all the storage cities that Solomon had, and all the cities for his chariots, and the cities for his horsemen, and all that Solomon desired to build in Jerusalem, in Lebanon, and in all the land under his rule. All the people who were left of the Hittites, the Amorites, the Perizzites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites, who were not of Israel, but were descendants of those who were left in the land, whom the Israelites had not destroyed. Solomon brought them up as forced laborers to this day. But Solomon did not make slaves of the Israelites for his work. They were men of war, his chief captains, and commanders of his chariots and his horsemen. These were the chief officers of King Solomon, 250 in authority, who ruled over the people. Then Solomon brought the daughter of Pharaoh up from the city of David, into the house palace he had built for her for he said my wife shall not live in the house of david king of israel because the places where the, where the ark of the lord has entered are holy then solomon offered burnt offerings to the lord on the altar of the lord which he had built in front of the porch of the temple a certain number every day offering them up as moses commanded for the sabbaths the new moons, and the three annual feasts, the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the Feast of Weeks, and the Feast of Booths, Tabernacles. Now in accordance with the ordinance of his father David, he appointed the divisions of the priests for their service, and the Levites for their duties of praise, and ministering, and serving before the priests as every day required, and the gatekeepers by their divisions at every gate, for David, the man of God, had so commanded, and they did not deviate from the commandment of the king to the priests and Levites in any respect or in regard to the storehouses or treasuries. Thus, all the work of Solomon was carried out from the day the foundation of the house of the Lord was laid until it was finished. So the house of the Lord was completed. Then Solomon went to Ezion Heber, and to Eloth on the shore of the Red Sea in the land of Edom. And Horam, Hiram, sent him by his servants, ships and servants, familiar with the sea. And they went with Solomon's servants to Ufer, and took from there 450 talents of gold, and brought them to King Solomon. The end. God bless you, and thank you for joining me today.